we think of our retirement years, we imagine traveling, spending time with family, enjoying our grandchildren, or doing the little projects we've wanted to do but haven't had the time. But for countless seniors, their reality is far different. Many of them face poverty, homelessness, hunger, or illness due to malnutrition. Whether due to an unexpected death of a spouse, lack of planning, an overwhelming number of hospital bills, or any number of unforeseen problems, seniors can find themselves in a desperate situation in which they never expected to be. This is a generation that has given so much, and now many face a life of silent struggles, but they don't have to face these problems alone. We're confronted now more than ever with the needs of a growing senior population. We have a large group of 60 plus seniors in the Upper Common and that group is growing each year. And as we make plans and look into the future, uh, we have to take their needs into consideration, whether that be in planning the growth of the city boundaries, uh, in our transportation needs, uh, and looking how to provide resources for those seniors who have the, the needs that, that are not being addressed. Obviously that's a serious issue. I mean, it's one of those things that um, it's happening all across the state. We've had people go all across the state to individual regions, including Upper Cumberland, to try to figure out what's going on. And um, Upper Cumberland particularly has taken a big interest in some of the ways to try to deal with that. I see a lot of elderly people that have just a very limited support system, and um, it's very hard for them to get anybody to help them. Um, most of the time I do home health and have for several years now and we're sometimes the only people that they see. You know in Cumberland County per populace we have more seniors than any other county in the state of Tennessee and it's true that we're a retirement community so there's a lot of folks that have retired and moved here and whether you're looking at Fairfield or Tansy or uh, the Cove or out at Pleasant Hill um, you expect that if they retired and moved here that maybe they're set financially. But the truth is that after a lot of those retirees move here, uh, they experience a lot of things in their lives that can change their financial status. Seniors are a, uh, a population um, at risk for food insecurity. Um, I think a recent uh, statistic is that uh, over 15 million uh, adults uh, age 15 older in the United States um, are threatened by food insecurity and hunger every year. Um, and among those adults that are categorized as food insecure, um, they face a higher risk generally of uh, conditions like diabetes, hypertension, depression, um, that can be um, negatively affected by poor nutrition and lack of access to food. So, They're a group that um, really uh, is undernourished. They don't have nutritional needs met a lot of times. and. Um, we get that food out to them once a month to try to make a difference, just to supplement. A large majority of my patients are on food stamps, mm -hmm. but they get a very limited amount. Um, most of the population that we see are the elderly, but back in their time, they didn't um, work. A lot of the women were homemakers, and so they you know, didn't pay into the system, so they just get a very limited amount of money. It is not uncommon for us to get phone calls from communities telling us that there's a retiree that lives here that doesn't have any family around, there's nobody to help them, and their resources have been depleted. A spouse died and all of a sudden the income's cut in half or may be depleted completely. 